It's never been easier for Claudette Ray Ray to catch the bus in Rwanda's capital. Cashless transactions are made using a prepaid bus ticket from Airclerk. The technology behind it was developed at K-Lab, an open IT workspace in Kigali. It's a hub for Rwanda's fledgling tech industry. More and more people in the capital are getting on board this digital revolution. This is one really tangible example um, of our success stories of K-Lab. Um, why? Because Patrick and his friends, they simply came up with a simple idea, but that is so efficient. K-Lab's name is a mix of knowledge and IT lab. This is where ideas are turned into reality. K-Lab offers plenty of space for young developers to test out their new programs. Claudette Irere would like to see more digital products made for everyday applications. The IT industry points to a potential way out of poverty, which is bound up with knowledge and training. So if you look at the, the, the skills that people have, I wouldn't say that it's um, you know, where we would want them to be, but we're getting there. Rwanda is a landlocked country which makes economic development challenging. It has very few natural resources. Still, the economy is growing steadily at an annual pace of 8%. Here, digitalization is an important resource. ICT has the ability of uh, you know, being exported and imported at a zero rate. You know? like it's a zero kg, that's what they, they, they keep saying, at a zero rate, so there's no cost. Conferences and digital industry meetings are one way Rwanda has successfully showcased its IT competencies. Such events bring investors, developers and distributors together, an ideal platform for the K-Lab developers. I would want to see more. I would want to see many more applications being produced and are relevant to our challenges. I would want to see them more engaged. I would want to see them more exposed, I would want to see them, you know, growing and selling their small ventures. That chimes with President Paul Kagame's vision. He's promoting digital development in Rwanda. It's now down to people like Claudette Irere and other young developers to make this dream come true.